Hey, I know it's a little late, but I wanted to do a little update on Resto Druid talents uh, for 4.1. I know they changed them a while back, and I've had a lot of chances to uh, work with them. Um, here's the deal, folks. Back over in balance over here, I don't really do the Nature's Grace thing anymore. 15% spell haste once a minute when I use regrowth. It's not worth spending three points in. Just to get down to reducing the cost, the mana cost of my spells by 369% to get to Moonglow or to go to Genesis, um, or to, you know, add 6% of my, uh, to my healing. Reason being, first of all, I wanted three points in Fuhrer, and the way they redid this, the, uh, actual, um, spec or the talent tree they redid it so that uh, efflorescence actually works out really well I used to not spec into that I didn't even spec into living seed but now that efflorescence is a smart heal uh, that heals only three people uh, the three most injured targets it makes it a lot more effective it makes it a lot more um, useful um, now, Living Seed, I'm still experimenting with because, you know, when you critically heal your target with Swift Men, blah, 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 you know, we're not really stacking crit much, but come 4.2, crit may actually become a viable stat to stack because they're increasing the amount of um, uh, crit from 1.5 uh, a multiplier to two, uh, a multiplier of two. So, you know, if you would normally have hit for 10k on a heal and you crit, and right now you hit for 15k. Uh, come 4.2, you're going to be hitting for 20. So, crit may actually become more of a viable stat. Um, as was pointed out to me in my last uh, video about this, Fury of Storm Rage, that's mainly for PvP, so you want to ignore that and avoid that. Nature's Ward, that's kind of. You know, I could see that being <laughs> really nice on the Jindo fight, but um, really still, if you have good people, you're not going to need it. And reducing all spell damage taken by 2%, a lot of the damage you're going to be taking is, you know, physical damage. The damage that's really going to hurt you is going to be physical. So that said, really, we're just filling up the entire tree here anymore. I'm going 36 points in my resto tree, and you can see how I'm doing it. You know, if you just pause the video and you can see what I got. Nice and slow there. Um, the thing that I'm realizing more than anything is that when it comes right down to it, your mana is... Your mana pool and your intellect is more important than spirit, more important than these stupid talents, you know, that, like, you know, decrease your mana cost. You'd rather have bonus heals. You'd, you know, that's why I have Living Seed anyway. It's another heal that could possibly happen. Um, the mana is never an issue for me. I don't care about reducing mana cost in my heals. Because, look at this. I have 114k mana. I'm only fed with intellect food right now. If I were to use my Flask of the Draconic Mind, I'm up to 120k mana, right? Now, check this out. I'll just keep it here. Nice and big, right? I'm just going to spam some life blooms here on myself. And I'll tell you when I proc stuff. Yeah, I just procced both my Power Torrent and my Trinket. 170k mana. Now, oh, I missed it. I think I missed it. Oh, well. I missed getting my Innervate off. Think about it, though, if you, uh, if I have 170k mana, right, times 0.2, that's 20%, my innervator will restore 34,000 mana, right, and it does it over how many seconds, 10 seconds, so that's, you know, divided by 10, 3,400 mana a second, compare that to what I used to have, I used to have 100k mana, right, times 0.2 divided by 10, that's 2,000 mana, so 1,400 more mana per second, just by having 
the more intellect. Now, you have your revitalized proc. You're always getting you're always getting um, 2% of your total mana every 12 seconds, basically. You know, 20% chance, and if you're healing enough, you know, you're going to probably, let's just say 2% 2, 2 of your total mana every 15 seconds. Well, you know, 2% of your total mana is 2,000 mana uh, if you have 100k. But, if you have 120k times uh, 0.02, that's 2,400. That's an extra 400 mana um, every 15 seconds. So, you know, divide that by 3, and yeah, that's your MP5. That's an additional 800, um, or that's 800 MP5 rather than, you know, what is it, 2,000 divided by 3? 666, so minus 800. That's 133 MP5 more. Sorry, I wasn't showing what I had on my screen there. So 133 MP5 by increasing your um, your mana pool by 20k. Now think about it this way: you also have extra crit chance from intellect. You have extra um, spell power from intellect. So you know, like when you have your power torrent and your M Mandela of Stirring Patterns proc, yeah, you know, extra 1926 intellect, you pop a new life bloom, refresh that life bloom on the target. And all of a sudden, it's empowered by that extra spell power. You've refreshed the life bloom, so you start getting that other portion of this back. Um, replenishment, where it's 1% of your maximum mana per 10 seconds. So, you know, do the calculation on that. You know, I have 170,000 mana, right? Well, times 0 0.01. Right? That's 1%. 1,700 mana every 10 seconds. So, MP5 on that is an extra 340 mana if you refresh the life bloom while you have your power torrent and your Mandela stirring patterns proc at the same time. So 340 man MP5 extra for the duration of those. So, you know, if you look at power torrent, um, where is it? Right here? 500 for 12 seconds, right? So 340, you know, uh, you know, times or divide by 5 times 12 816 extra mana uh, because of, of power torrent and that um, or never mind that's that's wrong oh yeah it's for 12 seconds and the Mandela string patterns lasts for um, for 10 seconds so, you know, those intellect procs are really, really nice. And that's when you, you know, especially if you have, you know, like something like Innervate, like a druid does. So as a druid healer, you really, really want to stack your intellect. Your spirit really doesn't make that much of a difference, especially once you get past 2000. I'm at 2436 right now. So stack that intellect, folks. Stack it, stack it, stack it, stack it. Oh, and... uh uh, when it comes to the uh, other stats, my haste, 4.5%. You know, I, the only reason you should ever stack haste as a druid is if you're a raid healer that's spamming rejuvenations all over the place. You get your 12.5% haste, you get, if you get to 12.5, not 12.49, once you hit that 12.5 mark, you get an extra tick on your light, on your rejuvenation. That's all there is to it. That's all that you're doing. And the extra tick, yeah, it adds to your overall healing if you set it and forget it. If you send out, set out that, that rejuvenation and you never touch that guy until the rejuvenation is gone, you know, if you don't refresh the rejuvenation or you don't refresh, you know, uh, you know the other hots, it's not going to make a difference if you're clipping your hots all the time, if you're a tank healer or if you're doing five mans. Ten man raid healing, I would say don't waste your... Um, points on haste. You're just not going to be uh, you know, needing that extra tick all the time. Uh, if you're spamming your wild growth like you should, if you're using your rejuvenations and, uh, you know, you actually want to stack mastery so that, you know, in 10 mans, because you have a lot more chance of laying down a bed of um, wild growth and then stacking up a uh, a hot on top of it to proc the mastery proc and causing you to have 
like I'm, like mine is 26% more healing you know on any person that already has one of my hots on them 20% bonus healing mastery is the way to go don't stack the crit don't stack the haste stack your int and stack your mastery once you get to a certain amount of spirit all right that should do it for now I hope uh, I've helped out now keep in mind in 4.2 they're changing mastery around it's going from the symbiosis to some harmony thing or something like that where you have to kind of mix it up with your direct heals and your hots but swift mend will work for that and you're going to be wanting to use swift mend almost on cooldown in most raids anyway um, it's always nice to have a nice little bed of flowers down um, even if you're not spamming life blooms and nourishes or regrowths around you're still be going to be alternating between direct heals and hots uh, so you know your direct heals proc your extra bonus healing on your uh, subsequent heals for however many seconds you know for your hots and all that st it's it's kind of weird and I'll give an update pretty soon after 4.2 hits with telling you how that all works uh, but until then I'll see you next time